She swore she'd never dance a step until she died. She said, I've seen too many movies, and all they prove is too idiotic. They all insist that South America's exotic, whereas it couldn't be more boring if it tried. She added firmly that she hated the sound of soft guitars beside her still lagoon. She also positively stated that she could not abide a South alone. She said, I hate to be pedantic, but I'm driven nearly frantic when I see that unromantic, sycophantic lot of sluts forever wriggling their guts. It drives me absolutely nuts. She refused to begin the begging when they requested it. And she made an embarrassing scene if anyone suggested it. For she detested it Though no one ever could be keener Than little Nina Of quite a number Of very eligible men who did the rumba When they proposed her She simply left them flat She said that her love Should be impulsive But not convulsive and syncopation had a discouraging effect on procreation and that she'd rather read a book and that was that Senorita Nina from Argentina despised the tango although she never was a girl to let a man Go. She would not sacrifice her principles for sex She looked with scorn on the gyrations of her relations Who danced the conga And told her if she had to stand it any longer She'd lose all dignity and wring their silly necks She said that frankly she was blinded To all their over-advertised or romantic charms And then she grew more bloody-minded And told them where to put their tropic palms and she could not refrain from saying that their idiotic swaying and those damn guitars playing were an insult to her race. And that she really couldn't face such international disgrace. She declined to begin the begging, though they besought her to. And in a language profane and obscene, she cussed a man who taught her to. She cursed Cole Porter too. From this it's fairly clear that Nina, in her demeanor, was so offensive that when the hatred of her friends grew too intensive, she thought she'd better beat it while she had a chance. After some trial and tribulation, she reached a station and met a sailor who had acquired a wooden leg in Venezuela and so she married him because he couldn't dance there surely never could have been a more irritating girl than Nina they never speak in Argentina of this degenerate bambina who had the luck to find the romance and resolutely were looked on. She would not dance. Hurrah! 